Hello, and this is another let's play of another simulator, stock market simulator called Speculator, and it spawned off the original game Wall Street Raider, which I haven't played before. And uh, I've just downloaded this, and I had a couple of goes, yeah, just to get a feel of the game. And I'm just going to apply a simple mechanical system to this uh, game and see if we can make some money. I'm not going to do some really in-depth research. I'm just going to you know, trade one stock and see if we can make you know 20% uh, return each year for three years. And uh, that would be pretty good. So let's start a um, new game. And we want to choose two players. One is the computer player and player two, that's us, position trader. And we'll start with $100,000 and a game length three years and difficulty level two which is the medium one I guess so let's click that I'm not sure what that is um, I'll play with that later I'm not I don't really care what he's buying uh, we can't buy anything yet okay so um, let's have a look at the stock index um, can we trade it? No, I'm not allowed to, to at least have a half a million dollars. So, taking a while to load up. Right, that's better. Um, there's crude oil. So there's gold and silver. There's other things there, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's have a look. Okay, we can trade now at what the leading sectors are. So we click general, industrial growth rates. We want to choose something that's double digits. So that's the current demand growth rate. I think that's what we'll look at and see how that goes. Biotex. But it's declining. Uh, electronics, internet servers, service companies. So let's have a look at that. I mean, um, you know, in real life, internet stocks are doing well. So, <laughs> so let's choose that one. And we're already highlighted there. Looks like, yeah. And I want to see the best performer in that group. So, um, industry summary. Here we are. I'm not too worried about the analysts. Um, price to net worth, dividend yield. Tons there. Um, no PE ratio. Maybe they're not making any money. Yes, they're minus. So we want to select some that's in making money. Let's go with um, eBay, which is in the middle of that group. Um, so let's select it. Um, that's it. I think that's the ticker symbol. I'm just guessing here. Yeah. Oh yeah, brilliant. So this, um, well, Facebook's on there already. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on eBay. I think let's have a look at the chart. So not a lot happening. If it clears the 10 area, we'll buy. And then we'll just watch and wait. We're going to go all in. Don't recommend doing that, of course. Um, I think it's safe to buy it now. So let's buy it. Okay. That's our net worth. 
101,000 now as it's gone up a bit. If it's not going to hold 10, I'm going to sell. And um, you can see the stock portfolio. We've got 9,306 shares. Let's have a look at Facebook as that's already on there. Well, I'm not doing a lot. We'll keep on eBay. And uh, yeah, we're just going to sit and watch. <laughs> As Jesse Livermore said, it's the sitting and waiting that's the hardest bit. Uh, Facebook's doing well. eBay increases its dividend. Decreased in income, it's not so good, but the stock price is up. <laughs> it's March it's March 2017, so we've just got under three years to go. Let's click some of these buttons. My net worth chart. So we're already um we're at 124,000. And uh, the chart of this company is moving up nicely. So this isn't day trading. We're just following the trend. Let's have a look at the stock index. That's in a bull market. Um, there's lots of information going on. I'm not too worried by it. We could borrow money and um, buy more stock, but I'm not going to do that in this game anyway. So we're up to 15. That's a minor round number. I'm not going to use minor round numbers. I'm just going to use the major ones. Keep it really simple. And uh, yeah, we know it's not a loss-making company, and that's the main thing. back. <laughs> Let's check the industry growth rate again. So we're in the internet. So we're still in double digits, that's the main thing. We don't want to be in a sector that's a laggard. And we want to be in one of the top companies for the group. As long as the group's uh, doing well, our stock should do well. Uh, we're getting a markup in dividends, that's good news. Let's see how our computer opponent's doing. Um, where is that? My trading status. I'm just a rookie. Account summary. Not too worried. Don't have any bonds. So look at the index. We've dropped off from five thousand. So I don't know if we're going into a correction there now at the moment. There was a button to see um, my competitor. Uh, where he's at, but I've lost that. Never mind. So we've dropped beneath 15 at the moment, and that makes sense because the general market's going down. It hasn't reached our stop, so we're just not going to do anything. And let's speed up time. It's at default at the default setting. So let's go to 75.
okay Facebook that's okay we get a nice chunky dividend earnings are flat for eBay all names are fictional of course and just a coincidence <laughs> okay we're not looking too healthy now we're, we're coming back to our breakout point so look at the chart okay And we're still dropping. Attempted to speed up time again. Fingers over the sell button. I can see how people over trade when they're day trading. It's, it's addictive looking at these numbers going up and down. Come on, go hold ten. Hold the ten. Could play some music at the moment. We're trading purely on price action. Facebook, that's doing okay, but still, it hasn't done anything. Um, and earnings are flat. Oh, it's it's dropping. If it's not going to hold down, we're going to sell out. No, we're out. That's bad. So we're about, uh, we're under hundred thousand. That's not good at all. Let's have a look at the Facebook chart. Uh, hasn't done anything. So let's go back to eBay now. Um, we could choose another stock. But I'm going to keep it simple in this game and. Um, we're going to look out for another breakout uh, past the 10 area. Uh, actually, probably have to clear 20. So let's look for another couple here, actually. Um, let's see if this sector is still hot. Some sectors are going negative. Uh, the general stock market is going up, though. So. Uh, biotech still declining 12% mm. let's see our sector well we're still double digits I don't understand let's choose another stock that's a bit more healthy let's say uh, industry summary so we're still in the top here PE low compared to the it's got a, a PE of 36 and they're recommending it a, 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 as a buy but the chart says otherwise so let's look at LinkedIn, Twitter and Amazon you know it's uh, you might flip into profit soon so let's add Amazon. And uh, oops. Good thing I remember these off by heart. And what was the other one? Twitter. And um, LinkedIn, L N K D. 
Oh. Uh, let's find it again. Uh, no, don't want that. Industry summary. What's the ticker symbol? Still trying to find my way around here. Um, company info. No. General database search. Look up, that's the one. LinkedIn, what's the ticker symbol? Should know these <laughs> off by heart. Link, okay. Don't know if that's the real one, it's just been taken over by Microsoft in the real world. Um. Going to add. Oops, we have deleted it. What do we delete? Amazon. And Let's check these charts out. Um, oh, LinkedIn's a, that's going down, so we don't want that one. Um, I'll just click these. Uh, select. Here we are. Oh, Amazon is looking good. Twitter. No, we don't want that one. Check out Facebook again. Okay, let's make a mental note. So Facebook needs to clear ten dollars and that'll be a breakout. And Amazon. Let's have a look at that. So it's one twenty. Let's, let's buy Amazon and see if we can hold the 120 area. Um, let's just do it. All in. We're going to keep it simple. And let's start the clock. It's got to hold the 120. Got my mouse over it. Not looking too good. We're going to be out. Let's sell it. <sighs> Two losses there. What's going on here? Uh, Facebook. Whoa! Let's stop the clock. Facebook just doubled. Amazon. It's a good thing we stopped out of Amazon. It's down to 100. So let's 
Let's get rid of that one. Uh, we can get rid of LinkedIn. Just have one stock. Too much going on here. Get rid of that one. Okay, I selected that one. And this is Facebook. Um, I'm sure that was a different price, but um, hmm. let's see if it clears the 30 area. Uh, well, that's the one that's looking hot at the moment. And we'll speed up time. So we're getting a few a string of losses here. Even though we're in a bull market. Alright, it's past 30, says so buy. It's going a bit too fast for us, let's slow it down. 85. Right, it's got to clear the 40 area, that's our next um, next target. Let's have a look at the stock charts, the indices. So that's pretty healthy. And our stock is in a nice bull trend. Earnings upgraded. And sharply higher income reported. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> We've just gapped up to 50 there. Let's pause it for a second. Fantastic. That's that's how you do it and we've made back our losses and we're in the money so let's see if it holds the 50 area now so this is a nice little video of showing you how to manage a decline and how to manage jumping on board right this isn't so good now we're going to sell if it doesn't hold this area. Whoa! 41, it just, just dropped down like crazy. Ideally, we want, to, we want to sell about 48, but that's how these things can happen. I think I've got the clock on too fast. <laughs> so, look at the chart. I can see that reversal there. So, it needs to make a new high, all time new high past 50 for us to get back in again. I'm not going to jump to another stock, I'm just going to watch this and see how this plays out. We might get back up to there, we might not. We've still got plenty of time left, we're halfway through the game. You can see um, there's a bit of overhead resistance, we call it, um, and that's where people who were trapped in at higher prices would sell in it, sell into any rallies so until it makes a one year new high I won't buy in or it makes an all time new high so let's, let's just speed up time until we get there see how, how it's dropping now earnings are up though Sharply higher net income. Let's pause it. That's not one of our stocks. Come on. Oh, it's good to be out. Wow, look at that drop. Alright, let's choose something else. 
we're not gonna you know make a fortune in this time frame with that stock. So let's choose another industry perhaps. Oh, I think it's negative at the moment. Why is that? Are we we're in a bear market almost. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't want that. General. Industrial growth rates. Let's see if anything's in the... Well, we're definitely in a recession. Uh, everything's declining. Everything's negative. Is there anything... Oil companies... Uh, telecommunications... This is a definitely a recession here. What's the internet sector doing? Big drop. Uh, oil. Oil is the one we should be going into, I think. So, oil service sector. Industry summary. No. We want to change that to that. That's it. Oil service and drilling. Go here. Here we are. So let's look for a decent company. P is only about 11. A strong sell. Why? Cliffs drilling. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know the ticker symbol. chart and that's down too hmm let's have a look at something else well if we're in a recession gold must be doing well let's have a look it is well, we can't buy it I don't think can we buy it Look up. It's a gold miner. <laughs> I, um, Agnico Eagle, I know of uh, in real life. It's not in here. Um, Barrack Mining, perhaps. This is where the research comes in. Uh, ah, here we are, ABX. So look at the chart. Ah, bullish. I want to see it clear the 60 area. So let's get rid of some of these. I do want to get rid of that one. And let's start the clock. So we're waiting for it to clear. Oh, no. What's that? Very cold. Clear the 60 area. Start the clock. And let's speed up time. This one's a tough game. We've been going sideways, really. Gold, then uptrend. Silver, not so. Just gonna sit back and just watch. Why are we getting news for this one? We don't own it. 
and it's not been selected. Okay, a dividend increase. Come on, 60, past the 60, and we're in. Let's have a look at the chart quick. Okay. dropping what's gold doing it's on the verge of a new breakout it's dropping there that's a shame precious metals mining let's have a look and see if there's anything else in that group that we better Well, we're in the top two. So, Sunshine Mining, let's have a look at that one. Uh, sister stock. Um, don't know the ticket symbol. There we are. Let's stop the game for a sec. And uh, look at the stock chart. Oh, not so good. Well, we can rule that out. Just delete that. Um, we'll still carry on. Earnings are up. Let's have a look at the chart. Not this one. Stock market's going to go down. Right, we want to have a look at the chart of our gold company. Not too good. The stock market largely flat. So we're, we're in a bit of a quandary. We need to find something good for us. What's gold doing? Not a lot. We're going to have a couple more years left. Sunshine mining's in a making. Oh, 62! Whoa! Let's buy. Buy before it's too late. <laughs> okay, we're in. And we we'll drop beneath 60. Uh, should, have been, should have stopped myself out there. It's quite a volatile stock, actually. Let's have a look at the chart. Let's see if we can hold the 60 area now. Let's see. now we're up to 72. Let's see if we can hold the 70 area. Let's just pause the game for a sec. I think we've got to pay for um, holding these shares, so that's okay. So our net worth's up to 140,000. Let's have a look at the chart. So what we want to do is try and ride these uptrends, and then just step aside from these, and then buy when it breaks out again. So uh, let's see if it can hold the 70 area. Now let's see if it can hold the 80 area. Oh, big jump. Let's stop the game. Let's slow ourselves down a bit. It's starting to get interesting now. Let's have a look at gold. It's in an uptrend. See when that breaks out, gold miners break out. So um, that's what I was looking for. So stock market's on a rebound. Um, let's 
dot chart looks like that. So we just want to see it hold the 90 area, net worth 167,000, so let's start the clock. As we went all in, we can't really add to our position on each major round number, unfortunately. Normally I take 50, 100, 150 as major round numbers, but because this game we want to keep exciting, we'll use the minor numbers, such as 60, 70, 80 and 90, etc. We've been downgraded. Now if it doesn't hold a 90 air we'll be out. Um, this is the exactly sort of mechanical system you could use. Um, in real life it's much slower of course. Just gonna pause the game. I notice my um, video camcorder is running low on battery, so I will uh, plug in the the mains. Okay, we're back. Um, so let's go. Just got about uh, three quarters of the year left. Don't know why we're getting used for uh, sunshine mining. We used to own it. Not sure what that means. Get a nice dividend though. Go. Let's have a little chart quick. So we want to see it clear this hundred area. Look at the beautiful uptrend this has had. We want to be, you know, stepping aside of anything like that because it could go down. And we're past the 100 area, fantastic. Hundred ten area. Oh, I can do margin trades. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything now. Uh, 123. What's our net worth? We've doubled our money. Now, if you can do that in three years, that's pretty good still. Right, we're out. Didn't hold the 120 area. I'm just going to stop the game for a sec. Uh, let's have a look at gold. See, gold went down, and I wasn't even keeping an eye on it. The stock price of the company told us everything. So, I want it to. See if we can break out again past the 120 area. And then we'll have a look at going in again. Let's do it. Even though gold hasn't gone up. No, out. Let's see if it can clear 130. I'm not too happy about jumping in and out like this. Uh, 177,000. See, look, look at that. See, my intuition was right there. If, if it's acting a little bit funky, just wait a bit. So we've locked in our profit. We had to give away one, you know, trade. So look at the chart. So look at gold. 
Well, we were regaining ground, so market plunge surprises bullish investors. Let's have a look at that. That's the stock index. Let's have a look at Barrett Gold again. 120, let's see if we can clear that. Now we're dropping fast now. So, you know, we had one stopped out trade. Whoa! <laughs> This is all on camera, luckily. Uh, we had one stopped out trade, and um, that was telling us to just hold on your horses. And that's quite realistic, actually. Um, don't think we'll be getting back into this at all before the end of the year, and that'll be the end of the game. So let's have a look at the chart. Um, hmm. Do we have a stock split? Seems to disappear that move up to 100. Maybe it did. Um, okay. Well, if it clears 60, we'll buy in again. But um, get rid of that. Decrease the net income for bad gold. Well. It's a good thing we're out. Margin debt. Don't like using margin if I can avoid it. Um, 175,000 is our net worth, so that's that's pretty good. I could look for another um, sector to go into, but we haven't got much time left. And I don't think gold's going to. Well, gold might break out again, so we'll keep an eye on this actually. And we want Barrett Gold to clear the 60 area. Keep going. What's gold got to do? Clear the I don't know, 1800 area. Let's speed up time. So I've pretty much shown you, you know, how I would play this game and probably how in real life I look for the leading sectors or the leading. Um, Core hard assets, let's say, like the gold price or a bit steel, the steel price, and then look for one of the leaders in the group. And I uh, don't think this is a leader at the moment. We have a quick look actually. Oh, we're at the top here. Uh, credit rating. It's telling us it's a strong sell. Uh, normally look at PE ratios really. Tech resources. Let's have a look at that one. Well that's going down so I'm not going to be buying that. Um, let's delete that one. Back on that. Got about four months to go, three months to go. And we're in a downtrend. Let's see if we could find um, something that's going up and see if we can make some last minute money. Industrial growth rates. Let's see what the precious metals are doing. So we're nearly double digits. Pollution control. That looks interesting. Um, internet. Uh, I'm not looking at that again. Let's look at something different. Pollution control. That looks interesting. That's that's nearly double digits. So let's select that one. So that's selected. And let's look at the industry summary. Uh, we want to look at a top group. 
something that's making money. We don't want anything really on a negative PE. Um, let's choose something around 20, 30 PE. Uh, they're the momentum type um, stocks. High PEs tend to be, you know, moving stocks going up, uh, but is obviously dangerous by a high PE company. So let's select waste management, um, and let's have a look at the chart. Uh, it's got clear 50, I reckon. So let's see if that does anything. We'll delete um, Barrett Gold from our list now. And let's see if that can clear 50. Get rid of that, I'm not too worried by that. We may not even buy this by the end of the year, so so be it. We need to select that. Make sure we get the news feed. Uh, increase the income for our company, that's good. I'm ready with the buy button here. This will be a one year new high, one year new high on when it clears fifty. We're coming up to November, not long left. No, not gonna we're not gonna clear it by the end of this game. So that's a shame. Let's have a quick look at another sector. Current growth rate, that's what we're looking at. Uh, a lot of things are negative territory actually. The general market isn't doing much. So, uh, a lot of negatives there. So uh, could be going in. We could be going to a recession there. Precious metals is still doing really well. So we'll go back into another stock. I think. Um, no. Let's just hold the clock. <laughs> Industry summary. Let's choose gold fields actually. Eighty wouldn't be a one year new high, but as we got a month left, let's see if we can hold the eighty area. Buying at 81. One last punt. Uh, we'll get rid of that one now. Uh, delete. Right. Let's go. that's highlighted that we're okay. Um, are we holding it? Yes we are. So let's start the clock. Yes. <laughs> Can I hold 90? Or clear 90? Increase in their income. Stock prices are worried. Come on, we've got a few more days left. 
Let's see if it can hold 90. <clears throat> and that's the end, I think. A few more days left. Christmas Day. It drops beneath. Oh, we're going to sell otherwise. 88 and beneath would be not clearing the 90 area and we would have sold out. So let's have a look. 192,000. 192 million. Sorry. I keep thinking we're playing with hundreds of thousands. Um, so we beat player one. That's the computer. He didn't make he or she didn't make much money. Made about I don't know one point two six three million. Um, we've nearly doubled our money. So they were holding the computer mostly Apple. And it loads of stocks. Ten. Employment status. Speculator. Right, this is us. 192 million. So we nearly, nearly double the account. Um, we had one stock at the end, and we are a margin trader. So let's have a look at the chart of our net worth. So, of course, we're. We had some bad picks in the beginning, but generally our trend is up, and that's the main thing. That's our the chart of our net worth. Cash flow. Final report. Congratulations on being the winner. Outstanding. Uh, your compound. Oh, this is this. They calculate it automatically. You did very well. There may be a job waiting for you on Wall Street. Your compound annual rate of return on your initial capital that you were given to invest was 24.5%. So that's not too bad. I think the top traders in the world are, you know, averaging about 30% a year. Um, so that's our average over three years. Hot blazing performance. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the other stuff. Worried by that. Uh, I haven't looked at bonds. We're now to trade bonds. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'm gonna have a few more goes on this game. Um, yeah, what well, a fantastic game! I recommend you download the shareware version. Have a go of it, and if you like it, just buy it because um, it's great fun. It's cheaper than actually losing on the real market. <laughs> but uh, it's a great way to hone your skills, I think. Um, and if it's just for a bit of fun, then uh, it's, it's you know better than uh, video games on your iPhone or whatever. So, yeah, real game for real traders. So, see you next time. Happy trading.